Our next guest is a photographer. She's a collector, and she is also a dealer in beautiful image cases that hold some of her beautiful pictures. Monica Rich Kosan is a professional fine arts photographer. Welcome. Thank you. These are great. What made you start doing this? Well, I'm a fine art photographer, and I do black and white Your photography. Your work is gorgeous. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Who's I that? Do Oh, this is just one of my children that I photographed. Oh, she's charming. And uh, I am very influenced by the pictorialist photographers who photographed in the early 1900s, Edward Steichen and Stieglitz and uh, Gertrude Casabier. And what I did one day is I came upon in all my antiquing a, a Lewis Comfort Tiffany mini uh, photograph. And I was very influenced by the smallness of it because I work very closely with my clients on how to capture their loved ones and how to frame their photographs and how to display them. So I actually did a photography show and I did them all from this. I converted into minis. How beautiful. And so this can be framed very nicely yes. in one of your beautiful cases. Right, and that's exactly how I, I love to bring art into my family's homes. And I love to be creative. And what better way and more creative way to display your loved ones in antique cigarette cases. And they come in all different sizes and they're from all different times. This is so beautiful. This looks like that an envelope. Beautiful. It looks like it was mailed. But Well, what's so neat about that, that's from 1889. I think it says His Imperial Majesty, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Isn't that neat? That was wow. given. That's what you got when you went to his party for dinner. That's what you came home with. Fantastic. So, isn't that great? <laughs> yes. And then, uh, do you know the makers of any or any of these famous makers? Well, the thing that I can tell you about these, this one in particular is made, um, as far as I know, there's a, an anchor there. Mm -hmm. And the anchor um, tells you that it was made in Birmingham. And then it has a lion passant next to it with a foot up, which means it's standard English sterling. And this one is about 1917 or so. Mm -hmm. And, and then, this one was dated 1932. Yes, it has a little. Presented to Jim by Ruth and Junior. Isn't that great? <laughs> yes. Isn't that wonderful? It's so beautiful to, to cluster them and put many of them together. And this put is your, odd. That one I got in a Paris flea market. Oh, it's really a little compact, a little yes. powder compact. Martha, when I bought this and I went like that, I turned <gasps> it, the powder. Puffed out? Puffed out. Now, how old do you think that powder was? Wow, isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, it did. It was, what a good mechanism that is. Yes, for... and it says Montre de Poudre, mm -hmm. and made in France on the side. Right. And you can put a photograph of Definitely. that if you like. Decades ago, it was very elegant to carry these cigarette cases. Um, or if you go to a, went to a dinner party, everyone at the end of the meal would take out their cigarette cases. I just recently watched the movie Out of Africa. Oh, and, yes, um, everyone had a cigarette. Robert Redford and Meryl <laughs> Streep are finishing their meal looking out at the plane, and they both take out their cigarette cases, and they put them down, and then the uh, camera pans on the two cigarette cases. And I thought, oh, yes, that's what it's all about. <laughs> well, these are mine. I brought Those three. Those are beautiful. I brought three. Um, they look Chinese to me. And... Um, they have such nice insides They're as well beautiful. as outside. This one is especially beautiful, and I cannot wait. It has the washed the gold. gold. wash. I can't wait to take these home and put in loved photographs. Photographs in them, yes. yes. Now, I found these at a tag sale. Where do you find these beautiful old ones? Um, the same thing. I found this one in actually in Paris and at, at, a, at the antique market. I found these at a flea market. I found this actually through a jeweler. They're found pretty much... By just antiquing. And then jewelry cases, too, and those old jewelry yeah. cases. Yeah, yeah you just have wonderful. to kind of hunt. And, and what about the value, the relative value? Some of them start at about a couple of hundred dollars and up. Now, you also are making these beautiful new ones. Well, what happened is this in one in particular, um, I was so I could have sold this to my clients a hundred times because it's so beautiful. It's Italian engraved. So this oh. inspired me to go and find some of the makers and the artisans who manufactured these decades ago. So this is an old mold of a cigarette case. And now, as you can see, oh. they all are made to hold photographs. Oh, very nice. Oh, I see. And what I do, just like this piece that had the engraving in it, I encourage people to engrave. Oh, that holds nice. six. Oh, how great. So it's a little photographic portfolio. Oh, and how nice to carry in your purse if you take a trip, too. You can carry in your purse, or you can cluster them, collect them. They're wonderful gifts for Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation. And this one is the old mold to a powder compact. And if you open that up. Oh, lovely. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm. So these are manufactured where? Um, some of them are manufactured in Italy and some of them are manufactured domestically. So now how do you keep the photos from moving around? For 
well, in, the, in here. In the new ones, in my new collection, they all, um, we have actually a special spring hinge, patent pending actually, um, that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> patent pending. Yes. Now, if I uh, wanted to put one in, in the here, old one. what would I do? Yes, you would take, actually, what I did is, here, I'll take one out. Let's see, we have one. See how the photograph, I just cut the photograph down. Uh-huh. See? And I use a little bit of Velcro. Oh. And I put this, th put it right behind the oh, photograph. okay. So they're kind of floating in there. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. they're and then this way you can change them, too, if right, you want. Indeed. You can take them out, and then you can put them back in very easily. So you could use reproductions of old photographs. You, you can, don't have to use the real thing. Oh, absolutely. You can digital with computers now, right. digital, or you can scan yours in and print another one in. And... Um, that's how that works. Well, if you have cigarette cases, vintage or new, this is a very nice idea for using them so that when they are opened, they're not empty like mine. And uh, these will not be empty much longer. Okay. Thank you for <laughs> a very good idea. And uh, Monica's information will be on our website too. Um, so thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me.